I don't care. I'm breaking that news. I'm about to air hustle myself. You know what I'm talking about, though. All right, y'all, so we just wanted to give y'all an update. Um, we're up the street from where we found the bones and we called the police at approximately 4.02 p.m. And um, still waiting on them to come. And so we left that area for a little bit just so we can get in a good reception area so we can update y'all because nothing was working. So uh, we're out here now at... Um, at Camp Cody and if you can come up here please do so because we're getting ready to go back over there but unfortunately it's in an area that's known as a sundown town so um, we do need as many people as possible as far as awareness especially if the police are not coming out there because we, again we called it we called it 402 you all y'all too you come No, nah, I'm uh, live. I'm just about to go live. I'm just going to get everybody's account while we got some dag on reception. Hi, Chris. Searches today at Bluebird Gap Farm and part of Power Plant Parkway turned up nothing in the search for Cody Bixby, but some leading volunteer search efforts tell us they're worth talking. Backdrop. So, um, you want to come over? We need a Cody backdrop too. Um, mother, that's just fun. If you don't mind. So, um, you just tell us where we're just coming from and, um, what we just experienced. Yep, we came from El Grandview in the back, all the way back by a gate. I said no trespassing. We got back there, got deep into the woods. We found three different shades of bones. It's backbones and whatever other pieces of animal bone or person wanted to be. But it was three different shades of color bones all in the area. Yeah. And uh, what did you do once you discovered these bones? We called. We called at 402. I got a call back at 433. No. And what time is it now? All right, y'all. So it's 5:03 p.m. and again we called around four o'clock, um, and we just left the area because uh, we we don't have any. We just left the area because we don't have any um, situation. Are y'all aware that we found bones up the street? I'm sorry. We found bones up the street. We're trying to get the police to come check it out. We we literally like just came here, like Brandon. five minutes, like up the street, five minutes up the street. We had the pictures in the video. Yeah, they, yeah we called it at four o'clock and they won't come. We oh. we have the pictures and the videos and we uh, we spray painted where it was, but it's a bad reception area, so it's kind of hard to. Uh, we've been trying to get in contact with them, so. Where, where, did, where was that? We're about to go back over there, but we're trying to make sure that well, if anything, we can call the police here and have them follow us because at this point, like it's it's it's. it's Yeah, so we're trying to, uh, y'all think we should call him from here? Call him again? Call the lady who called Oh, yeah, yeah, do it, do it on, call it with the on speakerphone so we can hear. Hey, y'all, so we're just waiting on them to come check it out. Um, we're about to go back over there because we're trying to get in contact with them.
leave your message for not answering. Is that non emergency line? Is that the number? That's the lady that called me back. Call the non emergency line. Yeah, call the non emergency. She just confirmed what I told you, where we were. Okay, so did she say she was, I mean, she said was she the officer that called you? Of course it was the officer that called me. How she have the number that you gave? She <laughs> called. I she, didn't give her anything. That's why she would not have the number that I gave. Okay. I didn't give her anything. So, I, don't know who that is. So so I got a random you, police did, call did number. Did she call you? Yes. Did she call you and tell you that to stand by there? She didn't tell me anything. She asked what the situation okay. was and she asked my location. And this is the same okay. officer that was out there earlier and we tried to ask her information and she wouldn't give us any. And we literally found a whole thing of three different types of shades of bones and it's been over an hour. So um, we're back at, at uh, Cody's complex. So we just need an officer to come examine these bones because it's getting darker and it's in a not so safe area and we don't have any reception. Yeah, they, they have a task force. They have to set that up through them. We don't do any of that. All we do is give them the information you guys give us. So can you confirm or deny that they're on? Can you confirm or deny that they're on the way or or no? Or I cannot confirm or deny. All I can do is just say that you called back and then send it to the to the notes. Okay, and what's I mean, your? I'm assuming I'm assuming they're on the way, but I'm not sure. You got you. May I have your name, please? Thank you so much. Is there an approximate time that they generally take to respond and stuff like this? Is it about an hour, thirty minutes? Because when the gas depends was on what, what they're yeah. doing and what's going on. So we're like in a queue of calls. There's a lot of calls coming in, yeah. Okay. About bones? Okay. All right, y'all. So, um, couldn't really tell y'all what that means. Maybe y'all heard the same conversation we did. Um, we don't know if they're on the way. We don't know if they're not on the way. We're not trying to, you know, call it a 911 number because, or maybe we should be, but it's definitely getting darker. So we don't know if they're going to investigate um what's going on but um we found a series of different types of bones and we marked where it was but it's unfortunately getting darker um than it's safe to be out there at the time and it's uh if anything it's, it's a sundown town and it's uh that's the area we would call racial slurs so we're trying to figure out now if you know police call we're calling the lady's phone back that called and now she's not responding so we're not sure if we should be standing around but like i said it's not in, a, in your typical area it's not a, a, a res, regular residential street it's dark dark and i'm pretty sure once see the sun goes down even more it's like literally no lights out there at all no lights plus no reception equals no go so um i guess we will wait to hear back i don't really know what to do So at this point, we don't really, sh not really sure what um, we should be doing, and it's unfortunate. Like I said, we're reaching out to law enforcement to try to, you know, we try to preserve and, and, and put what we did out there. So we don't know if they're going or not going. Um, I mean, we would assume that they would need us to show them where we went because we were kind of the ones to call. So I guess if we don't receive a call, then you, we can assume that they didn't go because how would they know where to go if they never came? Um, so, 
I'm not really sure what to take this. I'm actually, I don't know. I'm lost for words at this point because we don't even know what to do at this point. We called the people we were supposed to call. I mean, who who you call next? City council, dang sure ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> what do we call the state police? Maybe. <laughs> no. Your next best they bet's probably be FBI. Um, FBI. I'm pretty sure they have like an emergency number, do they? No. Probably Maybe not. do. No. Huh. <sighs> well, um, y'all, I'm gonna end this live because, quite frankly and honestly, I don't really know what to say. Uh, we gotta make a few phone calls just to, um, you know, see what our next. Cause we've called the non-emergency line. The, the next step would be to call the chief or supervisor. But you know, we've called the department and they're not reaching back out. We called for somebody to come get the bones where we were at four or something the stun started going down um, we are in mighty numbers today so it wasn't particularly safe to stay back in those woods no reception and not even sure if the police are or aren't coming um, so we'll be in this good reception area for a while and we will kind of keep everybody updated um, if you're on Camp Cody uh, call the phone real quick um, but it's, it's getting later so I mean this was you know six o'clock generally our wrap up time so hopefully we'll have something for y'all uh, we'll at least post the status and we do have the pictures on our page and some videos of uh, what was it was on the live earlier what we found wavy 10 were just out here and they just left we told them what we just said and they just acted like they didn't know what to do with their hands so. oh let me call Rhoda young live see y'all later